Welcome back to another video. I'm Dylan. I'm Oliver. I'm Chase. And we are Project Today. And today we are doing something that none of us have seen online anywhere with regards to van life. <laughs> we are creating, the, we think, the first ever van life gym. A proper gym on the outside of our box truck. And uh, yeah, it's, we're gonna get creative, do something really DIY, and an experiment that we're not sure is gonna work, but we think will. <laughs> we have a plan. And we're gonna test it out and document it here. And if it works out, it's gonna look sick. Let's get into it. Okay, Ollie, how is this gym going to work? What's the plan of okay. what we're doing? So this is our basic idea. Basically, we bought these one and one fourth inch square rods, and they're they're like steel rods, and they're going to go right along our trim on the inside here and we're gonna hold them through. We're gonna use this and cut this up to create a spacer so that it comes out a little bit so that we can put pegs through and it'll act like a squat rack. And so basically it'll, it'll hang down low enough that we'll be able to squat, uh, you know, shoulder press, bench press. We're gonna create a bench, all of that. And um, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna be using these metal sheets almost as washers here and then another wash on the inside as well as a layer of plywood so that it all holds it in together so it won't rip And just to really distribute that weight, yeah. the heavy weight that will be on top of this. So yeah. we'll have washer directly against this wall and then this spacer and then this. Pegs, bolts, and then holding it all together. Yeah, bolt yeah, holding it all in. Yeah, it's a little bit of a complicated process, but it's very DIY. We're gonna make it work and uh, yeah, let's get started. There we have it. So this is gonna be our spotter system for the, the barbell, and it's gonna rest right on here. This is gonna go into the holes that we drill into the metal, and it should support the weight of the bar. So Chase, what do you think? Looks kind of cool, huh? <laughs> what are we doing with the hole saw? Okay, we have our hole saw here. It's gonna cut holes along. This is just a test in this one, but later we'll cut in one of our main bars that this piece will be able to fit inside here. That's the goal. I'm not sure if this looks the same size. <laughs> Probably got this at Home Depot. Hopefully, hopefully it works. Hopefully. Let's try. So for everyone watching, that video was very sped up. So for you, it happened in a couple seconds, but that probably took like two minutes. <laughs> okay, it fits. It's fitting. It's gonna be tedious. But... That took a long time, and we're gonna have to do so many holes. So that'll take a while, but at least it works. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, <laughs> happy to see it. Oh also, my god. That's only one side. We have to do it on both. Sides. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna take a long, long time. Dylan's back at home right now. We left him cutting holes. Hopefully he's making good progress. We're on our way to Home Depot, like usual. <laughs> our oh, favorite place in the world. Home Depot, <laughs> once a day everyone, once a day. Always going to Home Depot. But we're gonna get a couple parts that we need to finish off this gym. And then we'll be set to make it and install it and put it up. So, we can't wait. I did not hit the curb just now. <laughs> I may have hit the curb just now. All right, drilling these two holes takes a very long time, like five minutes to each of them individually. And we have to get like 80 of them. So what we've done is we've set up a little contraption that will allow us to drill these a lot better, hopefully a lot faster, and hopefully not break any bits. Yeah. So basically what we've got going on is we've created a jig. And it's basically two pieces of wood clamped to the truck. They will not move. There's a piece of wood under those. And then the piece of metal that we are cutting right in the middle. But not only that, there are some other crazy things that we're doing. Oliver, do you wanna show the people a little secret that we learned from our good friend, Tim at Home Depot? Shout out, Tim. Cooking oil. You're the man. <laughs> the entire time that we are drilling holes onto this metal beam, we're going to be spraying it with cooking oil. 
And what that does is it cools down the tip of the bit, makes the bit last longer. They didn't have any real machine or drill oil, so we're using tritine oil instead. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Let's do it. This is thrilling. Not one drop spilled. Thrilling. Boom. Not Pat, a single that drop was professional. spilled. That was well done. It is time, off the chase. time to start drilling. Time to start. Spray that canola oil. <laughs> Dylan, show the people. Okay. We have our first two holes drilled and Oh my god, yes! <laughs> my, my vision is coming through. So I guess the, this really is proof of concept of the way we marked these holes and measured them. And I, it seemed like the canola oil was helping, I think. Really? So, good. so we're, we feel good. The first hole took genuinely 10 minutes. <laughs> the second hole took genuinely one, one minute. minute. You just yeah. had to get used to it. So we've got to hope that the second hole is the way all the holes are going to be? Yeah, ideally. Oh, Question mark? Oil on me Hopefully. I just got on my glasses. We are going to be covered in canola oil. Oops. Oh, Oops. man. At least it works. Let's cut, what? 20, 30, 40, 80 more holes. Ah! 70 more holes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Dill, I love it. You look great with the upside thank down you, glasses. Thank you, thank you. This is the style. Actually, don't do this. This is unsafe. It's unsafe. See? See here? <laughs> Right here, look, debris could get right here. We don't want that, we don't want that. Let's turn these around. <laughs> That's what you want. Look, I'm telling you, it's the secret of the oil and the metal shard soup. That's why these holes are cutting so easily now. It's the soup. Chef Chase, make me a soup. Chase and I are chefs, chefs in a kitchen. Okay, so while hey, hey. Dylan and Chase are over there hey, what are you doing, drilling holes, I'm gonna work on our, hey, Shay, stop, I'm filming over here. I'm gonna work on our plywood right here. Uh, that's gonna go along our wood frame on the inside and create extra stability to hold into. Wow, these guys are just absolute menaces. Absolute menaces. I don't do this to you when you're filming. Jesus. So we're gonna cut, cut right here. I've already cut a few pieces, they're in the truck. And uh, yeah, sounds good. Okay, so all of these pieces are cut. This big, uh, what'd you say it looked like, Chase? It's well, it's Nebraska. like a backwards Nebraska. <laughs> Our, our backwards around, big Nebraska. If you flip around, it'll be a little like Nebraska. It's gonna go right up there, and we're gonna screw these right into here. And then we're gonna drill through all of that, through the walls, attach the gym on the other side. So pumped. done with our first set of holes. We did it. Technically, I guess first set of four, because yeah. we have this side, we have the other side of this metal piece, and then we have a full another one. How are you feeling? Feeling good. It looks like, like a professional gym rack. It, it looks so cool. So uh, it's getting me very, very excited to finish this and see what it's gonna look like on the side of the gym. Yeah. You know, I think I think people are gonna come up to your van and be like, where'd you buy that? Buy that. Well, we made it ourselves. We you know, made it. That's really that good. That's right. <laughs> okay, we'll be back out tomorrow for more. Good morning! Hello. We're back. Another beautiful day. Usually Chase is the one who does these good morning videos still. But he's inside. Well, it's us today. It's us today. Yeah. And we're getting working on the gym. Dylan is out here drilling holes. He's figured out how to do the system by himself. Look, one man, one man kitchen today. One I man am, kitchen. I am both the chefs. The driller and the sprayer. Look, it's and, working. Uh, it's still working. I've done all these holes and 
15, 20 minutes. Wow, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And it frees me up so I can now work on our wall and start drilling in our plywood. So we're gonna get going on that and- uh, I'm gonna keep making one person soup. Let's one do person it. soup in this kitchen. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this 1 8 inch plywood and we're gonna screw it into our strips here. And I've made these lines, you can kind of see them. This is where we're gonna be screwing our holes through um, with a 3 8 bit drill drill bit and uh, that'll let us know where we're gonna have our spacers and everything on the outside for the gym. So now I just have to get these lined up perfectly, screwed in, and then I can know where to screw my holes through to the outside. There, let's go! Okay, now we're all done with this first line. All the holes are drilled. So, next step is we need to bring the second one in and do the exact same thing. And really, it's important that we get these holes in the exact same spot on that bar. Yeah, so we need them to be symmetrical. Of course, that the weight doesn't go one way more than another. We need them pretty exact. So, I think I'm gonna mark exactly where each hole is here and the, on, on this piece of wood that we're using as our jig and then bring that one in and hopefully we'll then easily be able to see exactly where those old holes were to be able to make new holes in there. That's the plan. Okay, so we totally forgot to record a clip explaining what this process is, but basically we installed a thin layer of Easy Tool, which is basically another layer of insulation on top of the XPS boards that we already installed in a previous video. We've installed Easy Tool under one of the plywood planks for the gym. And by the way, if anybody wants to see all the products that we have and used in this video, including the Easy Tool itself, check the description down below. We have links to every single one of those products. Okay, so our plywood is in. We've screwed it into our wood strips here, and we created six 3 8 inch holes all up along the two outside ones where our gym is going to go. And so we have these 6 inch bolts with these big washers that are going to go right through there, like that. Jay, show them it on the outside. They look great on the outside. This looks look sweet at, on the outside. Right you can actually see. Right here. See this? Oh, it's right done. There, right there. <laughs> and uh, you can see our system. We've got one kind of set up here. so. Basically, we gotta work out a few kinks and shave these down a little bit, but this acts as a big washer, this big sheet of metal here, thin sheet of metal, and then a spacer, which is about an inch and a fourth, that's gonna allow us to put the pegs through the gym, through the, through the rack without them hitting the wall, so it's perfect. And then this goes just long enough so we can attach a nut on the outside and another washer, and it should work. Meanwhile, over here, so still cooking in the kitchen. Still cooking in the kitchen. Making some canola oil. The and oven is definitely metal cool. shard soup. It's uh, it's pretty flavorful today, I have to say. <laughs> it's hot out. It's tasting it good. That soup. Yeah. It's nice and warm. Yeah. Nice and warm. <laughs> Dylan has been drilling and drilling and drilling into those metal rods for hours and hours on end. Ollie and I have been doing all kinds of different things, but Dylan has been sitting there, back to the sun, spraying himself with cooking oil and just drilling holes himself. for hours and hours on end. The guy is a trooper. He's a legendary man. Thank you, Chase, that's so kind. We just want to make sure that you don't feel forgotten. Thank you, appreciate it. Guy's a legend. All right, Dill, time for our favorite shot. Ready? Knock them all out. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's honestly really satisfying seeing all those fall out. <laughs> it's so great. Uh, this is our final side. Yeah, three fourths of the way done. That's awesome. Final Let's fourth. get it done. The final hole. There it is. Beauty. Wow. Good job. Look at that. Beauty! Next step, installation. Yeah, we'll clean these up, put them in. And get gains! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so we're having a slight problem. We have all of our little, what do we call those? Like spacers and screw bolts in, but they're not exactly lining up perfectly. These bigger holes are a little bit off, a little bit off. So it's like a millimeter, gonna be too tall or too short on one side, but it's a small problem. We'll figure it out. We're gonna have to rack our brains together for this one. So <laughs> did that. So we're making a rack. <laughs> Chase appreciated it. Thank you, Chase. It's time to put these bars onto the side of the truck. Let's do it. I've been drilling for like two days straight. <laughs> time to see if our hard work paid off. Look at that. Let's go. Look at that. We've got a squat rack. It's on there. Let's go. And look. Let's Here we see. go. Spotter arms. Work. It looks good. Ollie, just one problem. It, it uh, wasn't filming the whole time. Really? He's no, I'm just kidding. I'm just oh kidding. Oh my god, he got me insane. <laughs> okay, it is installation day. You boys hyped? Where's Chase? Where'd he go? Yes! <laughs> you are so right. hyped. Ready Let's to get go. the workouts in, get some gains. Get those gains, baby. Let's, Let's get it go! Installed. While they're putting it up, it's important to know last night we had the one piece finished, and then off camera we finished the other side, and we spray painted everything black. That's why it looks so much better now, because it's all black. So much better. So that's what we did last night. We're fully done with the rack. That's why we're installing it fully today. We're going to use it. That's our goal. Drive somewhere cool and use this rack. Actually get a little workout in with it, hopefully looking sick when it's painted matte black. That's the goal. Rack built. Okay, this is the real moment of truth. Let's see if it can hold some actual weight. Ready, Joe? I can't. I can't lift 45 on the shoulder press. <laughs> 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 you went for it on camera though. Oh man, uh, my ego's bruised. Let's, <laughs> let's not put that in. We're not gonna put that in. And with Oliver ready to mend his bruised ego, we hopped in the truck and drove to a very, very scenic location to get a little work at it. Let's get it set up. All right, we are all set up in this scenic, beautiful location in Beaver Creek, Colorado. Best place to have a gym is anywhere now. So <laughs> it also only took like two minutes. <laughs> it was easy. It was super easy to set up, which is awesome. It, it's working, and now it's time to really make sure it works. Let's get a workout in, boys. Get a cinematic workout in. Let's right get now. a workout in. <laughs> You guys are gonna have to comment below. Let us know if you've ever seen anything like this in anyone else's van builds. We think it's the first ever, and we think we did a pretty good job. We couldn't it. find it anywhere online. <laughs> We made the first ever van life gym. Woo! Let's go, 
it looks Let's so cool. Let's go! It's so cool. awesome. And now we can take this gym and work out anywhere in the world that we go. Alaska, yeah. Patagonia, Greece, wherever we want to work out, we have a gym on the side of our truck and we can do it anywhere. It's so sick. Yeah. Never lose those gains, boys. Never lose <laughs> those gains. Well, we hope you all enjoyed this project as much as we did. We had so much fun making this. It is my favorite by far thing that we have done this entire build. So, you know, please like the video if you did enjoy it. It helps us out so much. And subscribe to see awesome content like this from us. We have so much more to show you. And check us out on TikTok where we post daily and have awesome footage and content there. And we will see you all in the next video. Woo! -hoo!